First of all, you have to excuse the noise in the background. They're demolishing the church, so it's a bit noisy. But I made basically I made this video demonstration for certain console gamers. I don't know fanboys, whatever you call yourselves. I don't know, but let me explain something to you. I'm kind of sick and tired of you guys coming on here saying that, oh, you know, PC masturbation, you know, it costs so much to build a PC, you guys live in gold mansions on the moon, you cry golden tears. I don't know what the freak that is all about. If you apparently look around my area, I don't have a golden mansion, all right? Just an everyday Joe who basically builds PCs, all right? So, what I did was, um, I built a PC that cost me 560 bucks. That's it. This is my Batman PC. Share a little theme on the side right here. I'm still working on the artwork. I'm actually going to be installing in a uh, a Batman floodlight that when you turn it on, when you hit the ceiling, you see the Batman symbol. And there's my Batman cable covers and all the other cool stuff I have in there. The system has liquid cooling. As you can see, it's really quiet. It'd be quieter, basically, if they weren't doing the demolition, but I don't have that kind of power to stop it. Anyway, it has a touchscreen fan controller in the front. $25, sorry about the paint on my hands, doing some work. Um, it has a optical DVD drive right here, uh, 15 bucks. Uh, liquid cooling system, which I'll show you the box for that. I paid about uh, 70 bucks, new egg. Um, let's see, let's go over to the equipment so you can see it. All right, here we go. So here's the liquid cooling system I have here. I got this at new egg for about $70. That's it. Here we go. 4 gig video card DDR3. I paid about uh, 70 bucks for this. 70 bucks. 4 gigs. 4 freaking gigs. Man, that runs circles around your freaking console. Here is my motherboard, RAM, and CPU all together in one. And this thing has a dual core processor, and yes, I can run crisis on this with no problem whatsoever. And this is still more advanced than your Xbox One and your PS4. Alright, so that's the motherboard, RAM, and um, CPU combo. I paid about $230 for that. Alright, now here's my case. This is what I bought right here. 50 bucks for the case. Alright, so I got a 730 watt power supply. I paid about um, $40 for that. I have a 7, a 7, sorry, um, a 700 um, gigabyte hard drive in here. I paid about 50 for about that right there. And that's basically about it. That's it. Put all this together. 500, about 560 bucks. That's it. 560 bucks. And I have a, a rig right here that's 10 times more powerful than your PS4 and your Xbox One. And I'll tell you something right now. I can go in this machine, I can play anything in 1080p, 60 frames per second, and up if I want to on here. I can even do 4K on here if I want. I have interchangeable hard drive space, which as a matter of fact, this week I'm probably going to upgrade my hard drive, which is one of the luxuries of having PC. I can basically pull that hard drive out, put a terabyte in a solid state drive. All right? Now, if you want to talk about big boy machines, like I said, this is 560 bucks. But if you want to go super hardcore, well, I got my baby over here. This has an i7, a 6 gig graphic card, DDR5, can easily run 4K. Has 12 terabytes of solid state drive, 32 gigs of high grade um, RAM. So, I mean, hey, you want to go all out, I can go all out. But, you know what I mean, just proving a point. Simple and plain, 560 bucks. And this will run circles around your freaking Xbox One and your PS4 easily. All right, like I said, for you um, particular console gamers out there who want to say that it costs so much to build a PC, here's proof right here. Well, thank you all for watching.